hey guys it's me z today i'm gonna do my makeup using drugstore products only so let's get ready i'm gonna use this primer from maybelline it's a pore minimizing primer and it says visible reduces the appearance of pores for smoother looking even skin so here we go and i'm gonna dip here and here it's a very nice smooth primer so and i'm gonna take this uh morphe spray setting mist actually and just so i'm going to use this foundation from elf in the shade nutmeg and this concealer from elf in the shade deep caramel i'm gonna mix these two together because i didn't get a foundation that matches my skin tone well i didn't do any foundation shopping so i'm just testing if this is gonna look nice on my skin so i'm gonna mix these two together and try to come up with the foundation shade i never mixed these two together before so is it too yellow Maybe. I get my mirror and I'm going to use this blending brush from U Star Cosmetics and just blend everything. I hope it matches my skin tone. Let's go again with the foundation on its own and just try to see if my face is gonna warm up okay is there something happening I like the finish of it all it makes my skin glow okay I'm gonna conceal using this elf concealer in deep caramel this is a matte finish and the other one is the satin finish and I'm gonna take this LA girl in the shade fawn I like this LA Girl because it is a full coverage concealer. Is it finished? Oh, no. I just put that much and then I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend using this RT sponge, Real Techniques blending sponge. And I'm going to start here. Just blend. Okay, I like that brighten it gives. Okay, now that I'm nicely blended, I'm going to take this Revolution Banana Powder and I'll put it here in this because for me, when I uh, dip my sponge in here, it's not very handy. So this is my old setting powder. I always put it here. So this powder is the same powder as this one. I just always put it here when I want to do my makeup. Let's first blend and make sure we don't have any creasing. Deep in there. Okay, so I'm not going to bake because I don't like it to, I don't like when it leaves that dry look. I just want to set and go. 
and do the same on the other side. On the bridge of my nose. Now I look super bright. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. And take the leftovers right here. I like to crease over here, so that's why I put some over there. So right now I am going to take this brush and just dust off everything. Just tap, tap, tap. Because I don't want to wipe to like i don't want to do this because it's gonna end up taking out my uh my products so i like to just dip dip like so. since now i look a little bit light I'm gonna take this Morphe setting mist and just I'm gonna continue using this leak in the shade fire where's my mirror I lost my mirror so I'm just contour I'm gonna take this sponge and just dip in there. So I'm gonna take this face powder from A Lego and just which brush am I gonna use now? This brush, I'm just gonna dip in there. And just put it here. just to just to remove the cakiness I'm gonna set my face again after that powder and just let it now I lost my face and just let it sink in there I'm gonna use this blush from NYX in the shade summer breeze just to Blush out my cheeks. I love this blush. It also warms up my face. Looks like things are coming together. Hmm, I knew. <laughs> and I need to contour my nose. That I forgot. I'm gonna contour my nose using the same foaming bronzer from Sleek and just go in there. Take that booty sponge and 
now i'm going to highlight using this revolution ultra bronze palette and just highlight my cheeks where is my highlighting brush i'm going to take this shade right here and mix it with this one like these two shades right here and just highlight So I'm going to use an eyeshadow palette that I got a few weeks ago and this is the eyeshadow very pretty looking palette it's from Eustar Cosmetics and it's called number 3 Desert Sunset it's very pretty I like the packaging they have I like the packaging they have nice looking okay luckily I did not break this palette okay on the inside this is how it looks nice looking shades and shimmers and mattes all in there yeah I'm going to try use this palette I've never ever ever done eyeshadows on camera before so I do not know how is this gonna turn out but do not laugh at me guys so I'm gonna look where should I begin okay I'm gonna take this shade right here how does this shade look yeah this is the shade here very pigmented palette and just go in so nervous it is peaking it's showing it's there i'm not gonna do a lot i'm just gonna do like standard eyeshadow because this is making me so nervous I just put it all over my eye. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. How does this look? Well, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so I'm just gonna mix colors and hope they look pretty and just blend now after. So I think it looks pretty good and I'm gonna take another brush someone is calling me hmm. I'm gonna take this no I need a shimmer hmm let's take this color I'm gonna take this when I saw it I was like oh I'm getting this it is on sale I want to test it out I didn't see any reviews or anything but I was like let me just try and test it out for myself and so far so good actually I don't have any fallout or anything so I'm gonna take it to the inner corners of my eye because I feel like it makes my uh, eye glow. So I'm gonna go back to my oldie oldie revolution, incredible, pretty incredible, and I'm gonna take this shade right here, just put it right here at the inner corner, and take it a little bit. Ok, 
okay how does that look i'm laughing at myself because i do not know what i'm doing so guys i'm gonna go off camera and put on my eyelashes and eyeliner i'll be back because if i do that on camera this video will be like an hour long that i do not want i'll see you right now okay guys now i'm back and i stacked on some lashes and put on some wing liner i tried i am not a very i'm not very good with wing liners and eyeliners yet but i'm eager to let so i'm gonna use two lipsticks one is from Aters, just a local drugstore, and one from Maybelline in the shade Matte Ink. And I'm going to use my brown lip liner, which is already getting finished. And I'm going to line up my lips like so. I'm gonna apply my Maybelline now. Just put it on top of that. I'm going to go again with this Morphe setting spray. Okay, just as little as that, not too much because I already have eye shading lashes now. I don't like. Let's see if I did not experience any creasing on the eye. No, no creasing on my eyeshadows. So far, so good. So guys, what do you think of my finished look? Do you think that foundation and that concealer did a good job? I'm still trying to dry. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.